This has to wait until you clean up the other stuff. You gotta pick up the other stuff first. This will be right here waiting for you. You gotta stand up and clean this up, then you can shred a new one. This isn't even as much fun. Because it's already shredded. You know what I'm saying? See, it's not that much fun. All you do is crumple it. It's like a drug, isn't it? Okay. Come on. Let's clean this up. I'll even help you. I'll grab the broom. Yeah, there we go. Put it in the box. He just jumped at me. Sit. Yeah. Robert, sit. See, Abby, now we have to go because I said the word and now the dogs are all excited. Do you guys want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? The cutest thing. waiting at the door for me. <laughs> you want to go for a walk? You do? You do? You never talk. That's Maverick barking, by the way. He never, he never talks like that. Only for certain situations. Walks, um, going to, to get groomed or boarded. One of the two, same place. So he gets excited. You know, it's a crapshoot. Like he might get to play with other dogs or he might get groomed. He's not sure which, so he just gets excited both ways. We have to go now, Ab. I went to the front door and asked Abby and she's like, no. We have to go. Cause look at the dogs, they're so excited. Look at you, you willfully and willingly got up and walked up mm. here on your own. Mm. Come on, let's go. I know you're gonna fuss about it, but it's okay. It's okay. Come on, let's go for a walk. Come on, mm. come, on. come on, let's go. Come on, it'll be fun. Get some fresh air. Come on, let's go. So I am curious, where do you guys fall on the whole like, ask before you pet type of thing, you know? No, we're not done, we're gonna make a loat. Not asking, just, you know, reaching down and grabbing hold of their faces and stuff. Where do you stand on that? Things are never black and white, but of course, it's Maverick and Sandy we're talking about. They could not be any more friendly dogs, but at the same time, you never know. It doesn't make sense to stop here though, because we're further away from the house, like the furthest point. Yeah, come on. I know, if you're done, we gotta walk back, though. So that's the thing, we're at the apex of the curve. We're at the turn, where we head back. I don't know, food for thought. It's kind of a weird, weird thing. The, the, the lady called me an a-hole, to be honest with you. I just, she ran up, like, quickly. They both jumped at the end of their leashes, you know? Because she freaked out, so they freaked out, because we're dogs. We are right at the like intersection, right at the turns. So there's plenty of traffic. I'm managing them, managing Abby, you know, everything. So I I, I literally said, and, and I'm pretty sure my tone was, please ask first. And she walked away. They're on a leash. Hey, old. It's a bit harsh. Okay. Actually, I think she said that's why you put them on a leash. Well, they are on leashes, clearly. Like, very purple and turquoise blue. You can't miss them. <laughs> Those dogs are not on leashes. But they're cute, so. You never thought it would be a thing in your life where you felt like you're Christmas shopping for twins? Yeah, like, I will find something. Not even like... twins, because twins are different people. You guys are the same. <laughs> um, I'll go and I'll find something, and I'm like, ooh, Isaiah would like that. I'm like, if I buy one for Isaiah, I gotta buy one for Asa, because he's gonna love that too, or vice versa. Like. I have multiple gifts that you both get one in different colors, like a mom with twins would do. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, yeah, so it's like, you know, so you have like your, your quintessential guy stuff, you know, and then you have something video game related, pretty much all the clothing 
Everybody's everybody just gave Isaiah trash. They said he dressed like a dad anyway. Which he doesn't dress like this. No. But what's wrong with it? Nothing. I'm just saying, like he doesn't match that. But there are outfits that you have where you guys like look similar. Yeah. You know. I texted him earlier to ask him about shoes. Mm -hmm. Because you know he is a shoe guy. He is a shoe guy. Um. So I have some ideas. I mean, I have things he told me, and now I have to find them. So, he's terrible at giving lists. It's like pulling teeth. I'm like, hey, what about this? He's like, oh yeah, that'd be great. Priscilla actually bought us the same camera for Christmas one year. Remember that? Yeah. You knew he was getting it, because you're the one who told me to get it for him. Yeah. But then, I was like, I think Asa would like this too. Yeah, I and I did. That yeah. was my vlog camera for years yeah and it's still his primary camera mm -hmm. and then you both bought us like the oculus i got it one year remember that yep now and those are always funny because he'll get it and i'm like wow that's cool and i in in my heart i'm like hey i wish we had two you know and then i open mine and i get the same thing yeah and for some always it plays off so well so I have planned out, I know what gifts are wrapped, where they are under the tree, and what order they need to be opened in. Priscilla has no idea. I have no idea. She's, no, she's like, I'll open a present. I'm like, this is a cool accessory for a thing I don't own, <laughs> Priscilla. <laughs> so, but I never know, like, did she mess up and buy something? <laughs> you know, or something yeah, I don't know. Did she mislabel it so it's something for Isaiah, not for me? You never know. So. Did she order something thinking that I already had, like the thing that went with it? Yep. Because I really have no clue. Yep. Asa, when it comes to Asa, y'all, he has to send me a list. And that's what he gets for Christmas. So some of my stuff is very specific. Yeah, because I have no idea what this stuff is. Like, anything technology, I'm like an old person with. So, you might as well just send me the barcode. <laughs> Like, UPC label. UPC label, tell me what aisle it's on, and I'm good to go. Because I'm not, that's not my thing. You kind of do the same thing with something. I did good this year with you my did. list. You did. I was sending pictures. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hard nowadays because we all kind of like, you know, so much of the world, not all of us, but so much of the world, like, things are so readily available and, and quick to get, you know, that like, you kind of, like, if you need something, you just buy it. And it'll be here, you know, yeah. next day, guaranteed or whatever. So it's hard to buy from people. So our, our method is that we kind of stop buying things for a few months, you know? <laughs> yeah. And just put it on a list. That's, that's like the best way to go about it. So we get some stuff we want, some stuff we need, you know? Yep. And just, but it works out good. Yeah, it does. I feel like if you have like one or two gifts that are like unique and special and like handpicked. Yeah. Then that, you know. Those are the ones. Everything else is kind of like, you know, thank you so much. Obviously appreciative. Exactly what I wanted, but it is exactly what I wanted. You yeah. know what I mean? So, I don't know. I feel like we've been doing it that way for a few years now. We have. Yeah. Works good. Isaiah has no, he never has he a clue. He has no clue what he's getting, getting though. No, because he never asked for anything. He doesn't. But I want to go talk to you about what he sent He me. wants all the things, but he never gives us a list. He'll tell us something six months ago. And I'm like, dude. Yeah, he's like, remember he's like, I this. told you stuff. I told you stuff, like, over the summer. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. It is not my job to keep a running list of future Christmas presents. This is not. While Abby has respite, we had to come to Costco. Priscilla saw some mixing bowls on TikTok. No, but I didn't see That she needed to have. I didn't see Were they at the front? Um, they're probably on an end cap, would be my guess. Okay. We'll we also have to get our poinsettias because we get those here every year. It's like... 20 bucks for $17 for a four pack. So. And they're the smaller ones. Yeah. But I'm also getting snacks. But it's definitely the best place to get points at. Unless you have like a fundraiser. We've done that many years where we buy them from a fundraiser. It's featured. No, that one doesn't have a handle. Yeah, it doesn't have a handle. It has a handle. Oh, no, it's got like a pick up and take it with her handle. No, I want the one that you drag behind you. So basically you want a giant Bluetooth speaker. Yeah. Okay. 
That's why we were looking at like karaoke machines, just for the Bluetooth Bluetooth connectivity. As it, because her iPad already doesn't go loud enough, so you know. This is how you work. This is how I work. <laughs> you know. Got another one over there. Another one there. That's just because she moved out of the way because I was walking in. She was laying right next to her too. Yo, hey, who's that? Chilling with my nomies. That's funny. Oh my goodness, I forgot. Wait, we need some light. I have a whole studio and half the time I have a camera set up in here, it's pitch black. So we told you guys Abby's program is changing. Um, that change really comes into effect this week. Um, so we're, we're coming up. You know, we don't want her just doing, like when she comes home at, after her program, we don't put a whole lot on her. Um, because we feel like there's a lot being put on her learning new skills, doing vocational stuff and whatnot. So the plan is, um, since she's only going three days a week, those two days, um, a week right now. So, and I, if you're not, I know people freak out, like her program's over this like semester of it is this session is over. Um, it starts back up again in the spring. So right now she's just going in for like therapy three days a week. Um, well, they'll continue with life skills and everything. It's just less days. Um, but we're going to have some activities for her to do. A lot of them are going to be seasonal, seasonal activities, you know, Christmas and all that. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to come up with stuff like that. Because when she comes home in the afternoon, like, we have some chores to do and whatnot. But we don't want to put, like, you know, a lot on her. She'll help mom cook a little. She does, you know, the dishes all the time. She'll help with laundry and vacuuming and stuff like that. Just like normal stuff. But we also want to have some more variety to her activities for those two days a week that she's not in her program. So we went to dinner and we had a whole meeting on that coming up with ideas. We also worked on some vlogmas ideas. Mm -hmm. We have a whole list of activities to do. Honestly, you know, one of the things I had commented on someone's like, you know, cause I told him, I was like, it is kind of a big deal because you're doing every day. You know, like it's a it's a lot doing something every day, but a lot of the things doing vlogmas. Oh. But a lot of times the Christmas activities like you're sometimes you do them two times per day. So that helps with it. But Well and it's not a big it's not always a big thing. Like baking cookies. Like sure. that's a Christmas activity, yeah. but it's not like you have to go and do this big production. No. So it's just it's more of a challenge for myself to do like a Christmas themed and it's so just it was fun. something I came up with a couple of years ago, remember? Because yeah. you wanted to do Vlogmas. And I was like, well, why don't we do it where we do a Christmas activity? Yeah. So that's when I had like the written out calendar, the paper calendar. And mm -hmm. I wrote all these things on there. Making a wreath. I and forgot that that was like, I, yeah, that was the thing that you had done. Yeah. And so, I mean, I can do it again. Like I came up with all the different ideas. For, right. Basically, you start with the events that are like a one-day event. You yeah. have to go this day. Yeah. That's your day. And then you fill in the rest with other things, like decorating the Christmas tree. Yeah. Like one day you go get the Christmas tree, the next day you can decorate it. So the cool thing is it's not just vloggers. Like you guys could literally do this too, where you just do like one. It doesn't even have, like Priscilla said, it doesn't have to be a big activity. Um, It is fun, and it makes us do more things, though. As That's been vlogging in general, though. Yeah. Like, that is the coolest thing about this. I, the two best parts about vlogging are I have these, like, highly edited home videos that I'll have when I'm an old man. And we get to watch. I watched this stuff from five years ago and, and with a smile on my face because of those memories. And then the second best part is obviously just we've done more things. So you know? I'm super excited because this is the first time that Isaiah has been home in three years to experience the whole thing. Are you the most comfortable you've ever been, girl? You look so comfy. Can I borrow a blanket, though? Hey, can I have a blanket? No. Are we going to bed now? We are. She's like, I'm in bed. She's like, I'm good here. Y'all can go to bed. Y'all go ahead without me. <laughs> Come on, kiddo. Let's do the thing. That's not getting up. You just move one leg. You're not coming with us. This one, she's gotten so bad at night. So bad. I love you, but you're literally sleeping during the day now and staying up all night. And then 
You climb on my head. She sits on, on mom's head, like on the pillow above her head, and bites and plays with her hair. Yeah. And you used to be fine. Like, you used to just well, sleep in bed with us. And, yeah. Yeah. But now, you, I don't know what's gotten into you. I mean, I know you're a cat, but still, you didn't used to do that. Yeah. So, and she's, like, sneaking into our room before we shut the door. Mm-hmm. So we're having to shut our door and make sure your little butt stays out. Because you can't sleep like that. Because you want to play. Come on. Come on, Wilma's Christmas spirit. <laughs> With your gnome shirt and your snowflake pants. Look at you. You even, you even had a Christmas blanket on. Come on, girly. Come with me. Ready? You don't have it in you to fight. Come on. Oh, goodness. Hi. <sighs> Let's go to bed. Eh, eh, yeah. Good night, doggos. You gotta fix your things. Oh, yeah. Beds. You guys are getting a giant bed for Christmas. Okay. Sorry. Well, they're getting it before Christmas, so. Okay. We did find a giant bed on a Black Friday deal. Okay, guys, move. Move, Maverick. Because they both tried to stay. We're not ready yet, Maverick. Maverick, move. <laughs> Sandy, move. Move, Sandy. I'm Sandy, move. No, go off. Go. Go. Sandy. There we go. Watch out, Maverick. Move your, oh my goodness. Matt, okay, whatever. You're fine. Okay, go to bed. Go All right. To bed. Well, where are you going? On a field trip? Go. You're in bed. You have two beds. You have two beds. <laughs> this is why they're getting This is why they're getting one big bed. He's like, come on, guys. She's, she's taking up the whole bed. Don't worry, that's how mom sleeps too, Maverick. Don't worry, yeah. I feel your pain. Come on now. I know, it's a lot. That's me. <laughs> I literally have my one spot. Yep.